Origin is a 4.2 million euro project led by Heriot Watt University. There are eight partners in five countries. Three of the partners are communities, one in northern Scotland, one in northern Italy, and one in southern Portugal. All these communities have their own renewable generation. One of the main aims of the project is to try and make better use of the renewable surplus in these three communities. Why is renewable generation such a problem? Well, the problem is that right across the continent of Europe, we've invested a lot of money in renewable generation in the form of mostly of wind generation and photovoltaic generation over the past 10 years. The problem is that both of those forms of generation are inherently intermittent, which means that they don't always generate at the time that you need the energy, and sometimes they generate at times when you definitely don't need the energy. So unless we can shift our, the pattern with which we use energy, to accommodate those intermittent sources or we can introduce significant amounts of energy storage into the national grid, we have a problem which mitigates or reduces the efficiency of this type of generation. How do you know when there is a surplus? To know if, uh, if there is a surplus, you need to know in advance how much electricity the community is going to use and also how much electricity the community is going to generate. This is where the weather prediction comes in. Um, we do very accurate short-term um, weather predictions for each site so that we know what the wind speed is going to be in advance and solar irradiance so we can predict how much wind generation there is going to be and how much PV generation there is going to be. And we employ clever machine learning algorithms to learn the community demand patterns so that we can predict the demand. And once you have the demand, and the generation, we can take one away from the other, so we have a gap. Gap analysis that leads to the surplus. So how do people in the communities find out about the surplus? That's a critical aspect to the project, is ensuring that the information that we uh, uh, develop through the algorithms and uh, origin architecture is uh, contextualised so that people understand the information. So the approach that we took to do this was to develop a participatory design approach to develop a user interface um, and we, the, we encourage the communities to design the interface themselves. So for instance Roberto who's one of the participants in the Italian community, he, he liked the idea of being told that there was renewable generation available um, by a, a horse that would gallop and the faster the horse galloped, the more energy there was. So that became part of the user interface. It's one of the key aspects of the user interface is the idea of this horse, for instance, which we were very delighted about. So that's one aspect where the community have been involved in, uh, in, being provide, in providing the answers themselves. What does this mean for the communities? Well, let's talk about the Fintorn community first. They have invested in 700 50 kilowatts of wind generation. And the Origin system has enabled them to access 12% more of the energy that they generate than they did prior to Origin. If we look at the European-based communities, they primarily have invested in photovoltaic generation. And in one site in particular in Italy, we've managed to increase their use of their own energy by 26%, which is a significant amount of improved use of their generation. For relatively little investment compared to the cost of going invest and buying a whole lot of new wind turbines and a whole lot of new photovoltaic generation, we can make a significant impact on the nation's use of the renewable generation that we have already. So with a properly coordinated and designed system, it would be possible at a national scale within Scotland to perhaps use 10% more of the, our wind generation. This sounds like a very exciting project. How, how are you planning to commercialise it? Our forecasting algorithms have been very successful. So we have formed a spin-out company called Auraventi, and one of the initial ideas is to do a renewable energy generation forecast for the entire country, and we are in touch with national broadcasters about getting this forecast broadcast.